I'm at Cineworld on Broad Street in Birmingham for the launch of Morgan Spurlock's latest movie, Where in the World is Osama Bin Laden? A documentary in which he questions and challenges the threat of global terrorism. If I've learned anything from big budget action movies, it's that complicated global problems are best solved by one lonely guy. Where are you gonna be going? We're, uh, we're gonna go look for Osama Bin Laden. Okay. If I'm going to find Osama, then I'm gonna be traveling to some pretty scary places. This course is reality-based protection. Turn away from the grenade. Boom! How do I say, don't take me, take the cameraman? <laughs> we got the idea of the film in 2005. Bush had just been elected to a second term. He put out, Osama put out another tape. Suddenly he was everywhere on every news station, radio station, you name it. And people were saying, where is he? Why haven't we caught him? Why haven't we brought him to justice? Where in the world's Osama bin Laden? And I was like, that's a great question. That sounds like a really good movie. And so we started to dive into pre-production. And about two months into that process, we found out my wife was yeah. pregnant. And so the film took a real personal shift for me because then it wasn't just about where is he, why haven't we caught him, but also what kind of world am I about to bring a kid into. Osama. Well, I mean, when we first started off, you know, we were going out on the pay, on the on the Osama Trail. You know, it was very serious. We wanted to try and you know get as close as we could. At the same time, you know, have some fun with it. You know, try and get as much information as possible. And as we start to go on this journey, you start to see there's so many other things that exist in the world that you have so many other problems that kind of push people towards finding him that you start to question: Is he really that important? And, and in all the countries we travel to, you see his influence everywhere. So Osama is almost like Kaiser Soze now. You know, from the from that film, The Usual Suspects. He's everywhere and he's nowhere. We don't know whether he's in a cave with the door shut. I was wondering if we could ask you a question. No, no, no. Our cave with the door open. I got a tip on where to find his uncle, Mafuz Assam. You wouldn't turn him in for the $25 million? For me, there were, there were a lot of things that I took away from the experience, and, and what I really want people to do, you know, I try not to tell people what to think in the film. I want them to take away some things on their own, but the, the biggest things that I learned is that the people that we see in this film aren't the people who dominate the media. They aren't the people that I get to see, and I think that's the great, the great thing that the movie does. It shows you a new side of, of people's lives that we don't have access to. You know, most of the people in the States that I see from this region of the world are burning flags or burning people in uh, effigy and, you know, saying, kill you all, and, and for me, that's really not what represents the majority of the, the people within those countries so I think I think it starts to show a lot of commonality that we didn't see before but I'm a wanderlust king. it's impossible mission is impossible this is hardcore Taliban country there's 21 guys here with guns when whoever's escorting us says let's go it means go now go now we ask every time hey you guys know where Osama's at and they always point get to die Osama so that way the movie's great. What's really interesting about it is the fact that it, it, it's, it, it deals with a lot of the smaller issues. It's about him meeting just ordinary people. I thought it, it, it was enlightening, it was eye-opening. It was nothing really that I, I didn't know about before. What I found exciting about the whole concept was the fact that it will open up to people who aren't necessarily aware what a peaceful and loving race uh, Islam may be, and also that the Arabic people are. A lot of people will, when they see a picture of an Arab on the television, they will, you know, they will see the, the, the traditional garb, the dress, and they will naturally have some sort of, some hesitation about what that gentleman's life is about. I think it's really good. I was a huge fan of Super Size Me, and I think that Where in the World is Osama Bin Laden is a terrific film for ordinary people all around the world. So there you have it, Morgan Spurlock's latest release, Where in the World is Osama Bin Laden? It opens this Friday. It's definitely worth taking a look if you get an opportunity. Where in the world is Osama Bin Laden? So this is a good moisturizer? Yeah. It'll keep my hands really soft? Yeah. yeah. And do you know where I could find Osama Bin Laden? What did you think of the movie? What movie? <laughs>